of me is a wonderful list. Um, can I just make one quick suggestion on the minutes? Mm -hmm. um, March 21st, that was our meeting day? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because we pushed the other one back. So, would it be possible in the future if we change the date to show that it was no, you know, what's scheduled for, what you scheduled for? Okay. Yeah. Just because it, it looks like a weird date, but we know it's not. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Should have been like March. I don't know. Mm -hmm. This one we we are doing on time, which is good. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to run through the minutes, and then I'll, I got a couple of emails with new business type stuff. And again, most of that's budget type things. Mm -hmm. um, Canal Basin Square is on the table now too. So. Mm -hmm. okay. Um. All right. So the map. I just want to ask that too. It's my understanding was we were parks and rec. Mm -hmm. So my understanding is it's all kind of parked. I don't know how it's somehow became a green green home. When it was formed by council, it was all of the parks because they I went think, through and named all the different parks. I think it was back, um, all parks. I think you just started with the bank because you had to start somewhere, right? Yeah. Right, but I'm just saying, so Canal was always part of the bank. Yep. Yeah. It's okay. just somehow it, there, was, there seems to be some confusion and now they're saying it's part of it and it was always part of it. Yeah. Okay. The, Just want to make sure. Yeah. There and there's a you know an asking here for us to look at the budget for um, the allocation as well. So it's it's definitely. I mean, and, you know, if conversation that mm -hmm. outside of this, um, you know, I don't know, but uh, looks like they're throwing it back to us. If you, mm -hmm. um, all right. So I think the first one I'll just summarize because that one's a little long, but uh, it was getting cost for the map. Mm -hmm. yeah. Were you able to do that? Yeah, I've got uh, basically just one estimate now. Okay. I haven't had a chance to go see it in person. So this is a front runner sign in Charlottesville. Okay. And I sent her a picture of the kiosk. I sent them a PDF of this. Um, and they're like, well, that's interesting. Um, so they their comment were yeah. uh, email. But um, to, to scale it up, right. as we know. They were um, because the backboard is 32 inches by 32 inches. Right. So they were like, okay, $185 for one of them. That would be an eighth inch aluminum with premium 3M to mm -hmm. buy all the walls and that. Okay. And I just wanted to see it in person to okay. see. Right. Meanwhile, I went back over to Toya Creek. Right. And I did a deep dive, you know, with my magnifying glass, mm -hmm. looking something out there. And there was a version of a lamp at my top. So I'm actually going to play around with doing some old school DIY right. versions of right. some laminating. Okay. Uh, Shane at ALC, he does some large format book laminating. Okay. And I think there's some sort of in between, but uh, I have another request for a quote from another com uh, sign company. Okay. So I just want to, I, I like threes, you know, like let's yeah. compare like two sort of versions. So I'm waiting to hear back on another one and then, yeah. Yeah, in, in my mind, you know, share this verbally, right? It's just in my head, but I was thinking of the two by three map and it's yeah. laminated and you put it up there. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the aluminum seems like. Yeah. And that might be too big. Three, three, three feet by six inches. Yeah. So, like I said, for the kiosk, I went and measured the wood back. There, yeah. Okay. So, if you remember, it's got a little, you know, right. like roof like that. And the roof does a good job keeping it out. And we notice the seats, mm -hmm. they're be standing, but so far the backing boards okay. mm -hmm. on all three of them, the way they're placed, they seem to the wood seems to be still in really good condition. So I'm wondering if just yeah, you're basically in it. Well, now. just keep understanding that the wood that's on the um, tables okay. are totally unfinished, okay. there was no staining no oils no anything like that versus what the kiosks came in right okay. and so there's two different there are two different types of wood okay. and there were two different treatments on it okay so right away the comment was that those seats need to be taken care of that hasn't been okay so we're seeing that okay. uh, they're, they're two different products yeah and okay. the only okay. my only problem is the loot just so i understand 
kind of like what we have out here. Well, that's what I'm saying. I haven't gotten to see it in person. We've been just exchanging emails. They're like, come into the shop or she'll we mail you something. And I just I haven't gotten up to show so to see a sample. Because to me, sample. cost is always important in the town, but also too, if the sign's going to last forever. Yeah. That's great. But my point was that sign there is doing okay. Uh-huh. The one on Canal Basin is destroyed. Right. Right. Because it obviously gets sun in a way that's painful for it. Right. So to me, right. I'm almost leaning towards, in my opinion, something laminated because we can always do that again. Right. right. Well, that was kind of where I was thinking, well, yeah. especially since there's a lot of money needed to be spent for the town, and this is this mm -hmm. one small right. little element. So I'm kind of curious about that. Anyway, right. yeah, like, so the kiosk size is 42 inches wide, three okay. and it's 32 inches tall. Okay. So yeah, I'm like you. Like let's just get one thing, let's get it up there, yeah. move on to some other things. Not totally cheap, but not the most expensive. So and if you want to do three or whatever, but if, yeah. you, if you find a product that you think is fantastic, there's no, it's not necessary to get yeah. three things. So yeah. Well, I am hoping uh, we've got some things going on at the house, so I haven't been to the shop. But when we get in there, at least just all get a picture, and then I can. Email it to everybody yeah. and be like, I can give a thumbs up or a thumbs down on my recommendation on that sort of. Yeah, the only the only other thing we talked about on the map mm -hmm. about was was the location of the bridges and then the boundary line. Right. Um, and again, if we don't have that, my view is go for it. Um, yeah. You know, and somebody go in later with a magic marker and. Right. Or, or right. this is version number one. Right. Right. At some point, you're going to have to reprint. So right. Yeah. Well, the good news is, is a bunch of people are already in play. Javier has just installed one downstairs on the, uh -huh. the covered okay. backboard in the locker okay. case thing. It's online. Uh, I need more to me out with that. Okay. She was able to do a simple edit to the web page. So now if you click, it's not the hand drawn version anymore. It's okay. the other one. And there's two versions on Facebook. Okay. Uh, the local little hypey group, mm -hmm. they put one, they mounted the PDF on, on their page, and then there was a Van Cities Nature Area Facebook page. I had forgotten okay. about it. Dan Gritzko must have been part of it a million years ago. He's got some of his okay. videos and things More from quite a bit. Right. So it's, it's populated online. Who put it on Facebook? Oh, yeah. So probably some of the Facebook people. Okay. Um, but Here's my guess. I didn't come to the work session, but I'm assuming that Eileen or somebody, because Nancy Gill sent me a text. She's like, "Map looks great." I'm like, "Okay." And how did you see it? She's like, "It's on So I was like, "The very is just popular." Wow. Okay. So the word of mouth got it out. So okay. So that should be another point is that if there's a, a band group uh, Facebook yeah. page, yeah. we at least need to be able to access it and right. it or whatever. However, that gets done. Yeah, I'm because that really is the challenge. Is, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like I said, it's most of the content is from a few years ago. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm assuming it was Dan or whoever else was. I would imagine it was Dan. He was doing a lot of videos with his one of his, was his son, someone in his yeah, family. yeah. And Jack was on there, and Sue Munson, and a few other people who were following. So yeah, yeah I was glad to see that. That's kind of on the I'm just wondering how did they get your version. Okay, well, like I said, so I emailed it to Eileen. She ah, said, I can do okay. some basic web edits. Right. I was like, what's this one you can do? She said, it's fine. Okay. So I'm assuming at the work session, which I didn't go to, <laughs> Nancy Deal was listening, and Nancy put it on the Horseshoe Bend Hiker okay. List page. Good. And then I think Liz and Nancy shared it somewhere. Okay. Yeah. So that's okay. That's I great. Think I Kind of is organic, so yeah, yeah. I kind of like the fun for the whole thing, but anyway, Javier did a quick little print on the machine here, so apparently it will also be 11 by 17, so that's good to know. So I like mm -hmm. his version, so I'm ready to say, let's print like let's just print first, let's just see, right? And I'll put, I'll put 10 in each of the little kiosks things and just sort of see how it goes, just to get something. To and is that big enough just to laminate and put up? Maybe, and that's the thing. Um, I have sent these versions to Shane. Can you Shane? I don't, I don't oh, he's great. He's a really nice guy. He bartends sometimes at the brewery. But oh, I do know Shane. Yeah, so he lives right here in town. And he gives a lot, he donates a lot of uh, 
pretty many copies uh, to the stocks, though. Okay. I was like, you just let me know the rate. That's true. So, the uh, are printing yeah, yes. it's uh, right up behind uh, Beer Run, okay. so in Charleston. Okay. And I can't say enough good things about him because I will email him a PDF and he will bring home the printed supplies for me, either on his front porch and I'll give him the coach. And isn't that great? I was like, Shane, you are the best. So, <laughs> if it's possible, I'm going to see if we can just get one of those laminated ones right now. Boom, boom, boom. In the I, I, I just like to have them on the kiosk because it's still blank. It is April, right? It's springtime. Let's get something up there. Okay. And I asked Tom about it. So apparently there's some basic laminated supplies that can, but also just for. So, uh, so I'm exploring all the laminating. I, mean, I, I wonder, does Kinko's do laminate? Yeah, they probably do. I, I mean, I would be willing to take three of them up there and say, can you laminate these? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure he's able to do it. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, this is a large format thing, so I was thinking about when we're getting them up. Like, okay. okay, if I do three ones, I'll let them by 17. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, All on. right, so should I just say Terry looking yes. at uh, nominating? Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'll do minutes, guys. That's fine. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Uh, let's see, number three, Bill was going to contact Bob and ask him about the mark or for the um, park boundaries and see what happens. So I, don't, I haven't heard any update on that, so it's probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 